I think. Uh, but in the end, we all have to submit to Allah. I think the most important thing is that we should continue to pray to our country. That whoever emerge as president, governor, senators, members of the house, chairman, of leadership at all levels, that we get good leaders. And I think that we should also remind ourselves as Muslims and as citizens that we owe it to ourselves because we know that this country deserves better than we have been giving ourselves. We know that. To employ someone who has the competence to do the job and who can be trusted. Now, if we go and choose leaders who are not competent because they give us money or personal interest, and I keep saying to my brothers in Tijaniya, nobody, we should stop praying for people who come to, to, to us to say, come and pray for me to be governor. Come and pray for me to be president. They go and give uh, people money to go and read the Quran for them. We should look at all the candidates. We should choose the people that we think are competent and honest and then we decide who we want to pray for not who comes to us with money or who comes to us to beg us whether or not they come for us and we should go and vote for them and then we should pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our sincere belief that these are the people who are in the best interest of our nation should be born fruit. But to be honest, this country has, we are living on extra time. In 2015, we were in a deep hole. In 2023, we will be in an even much deeper hole than in 2015. The challenges facing all those people who are struggling to be president, I hope they understand that the problems they are going to face are multiples of the problems that were faced in 2015. And all of us have to be ready for difficult decisions. And if they're not taken, we're all going to pay for it. But the solution is not for all of us to jump into politics. This country needs polit good, good politicians. It needs imams and pastors and bishops who are going to stand up and remind them of the fear of God. It needs technocrats who are going to critique their policies. It needs traditional rulers who are going to speak as a conscience of the people. Everyone has a role to play. And we should try to play that role to the best of our ability. So this is my answer. I don't know if you have the answer that you want, uh, but this is the answer I give people uh, all the time, you know, but uh, for me, uh, as it should be for every Muslim, you are like a leaf on a tree. If the wind blows you, you have to move. So we are all in Allah's hands. We go where he takes us. Uh, we only hope and pray that wherever he takes us is where we will meet with his pleasure and his blessing and not where we'll meet with his anger.